welcome back Nailville foodies we are back again with another video and this is something that's gonna be quick and easy we wanted to do something it's gonna be hot outside don't nobody feel like slaving in no kitchen over no uh stove sweating kids running in and out getting flies and we ain't got time for all of that so we're going to do some tuna fish Easy, simple. All you gotta do is add some chips and some fruit. Baby, you got a whole meal. Get on out that door and play, kid. Quit playing with me, all right? So, for our ingredients for this tuna fish, of course, we have our star kiss, chunk like tuna in water. We have our garlic powder, our onion powder. And guys, sometimes I do put green onions in my tuna fish, but I didn't have green onions, didn't feel like going to the store. It's my kitchen, I do what I want. All right, I think we got that out the way we also have something to kick it up a little notch we got that gray coupon do you have any gray coupon y'all remember that commercial yes we have our gray coupon we also have our miracle whip the only thing i use to make my tuna fish because it's my kitchen and i do what i want we have our eggs and the star of the show y'all 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 see this, pickles and the relish. Sarge's famous pickles, my girl Sarita, bossing, listen. And she a boss, she, listen, y'all. I do not eat sweet pickles. Do you hear me? Let, me? let me say that again. I do not eat that bread and butter stuff. I don't like it. I, I that sugary, I don't know. Relish, I can tolerate on a hot dog as long as I got a lot of mustard or if it's in like potato salad or tuna fish like we're doing now, I can tolerate it because I think that's too sweet as well. But the mustard for me helps kind of balance that out. Um, so what happened was um, I went somewhere to minister and after church, she came up to me with all these jars of pickles. She gave me and my two sons a jar of pickle. And so I did not know that they were sweet pickles. I thought they were regular pickles. So, you know, we get home, I open the jar and I'm eating the pickles. And I said, whoa, this is sweet pickles. I said, oh, but why do I like these? Baby, when I tell you the perfect amount of sweetness that is not overpowering the pickles, even down to the relish. Like I put the relish on a hot dog and did not need mustard because it was not too sweet. So I really want to, you know, thank her because she calls me to eat something that I don't normally like. And it has a little heat that those pickles, it's, it's a little bit of sweet and a little bit of heat, not overpowering. When I tell you this was the perfect pickle for me, I don't know about you, but for me, she did this thing well. And she named it after her father, who was a Vietnam veteran, who is a Vietnam veteran. And they called him um, Sergeant Sylvester Boston. And so her company name is Sarge Famous Pickles. And I will put the information um, in my um, description so you can be able to call her, uh, on, get her on Facebook to order some of these pickled veggies she'd be doing. She does pickled fruits. Oh my God. We had pineapple, the pineapples, they didn't last two, 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 two minutes. They, they gone, okay? She had strawberries. I mean, the girl will pickle anything. The girl can probably pickle a leather shoe and I can probably find a recipe for it. I'm telling you, it's how good this girl is, okay? So I just wanted to dedicate this to her dad. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit of story about her dad while we're doing this tuna fish. So just kind of sit back, um, enjoy. We'll be right back. Don't you move. All right, you guys. So we are back with our tuna fish, honey, and we are about to make it happen. So what I have in here, I have eight cans of tuna fish. Yes, eight cans. Um, because they gonna eat on this honey for a couple of days. Do you hear me? All right, and with eight cans of tuna fish, guys, I always put one egg per can of tuna fish. So I have eight eggs. I know it looks like a lot, but I promise you, the proportion is righteous. It's gonna be great. 
I want to go ahead and season with some salt and pepper. Not too much. I do love pepper though. All right, I also want to add some garlic powder. And like I said, sometimes I put uh, like onions and I put minced garlic in it. But if you got kids that don't like onions or like that garlic, you can always go for the powder and still get the uh, same taste. This is onion powder. All right, and so this is what I did. Okay, we're gonna do Sarge Famous Pickle Relish. And guys, I wanna tell you the story why she calls this Sarge. Um, like I told you in the beginning, her dad is a Vietnam War vet. And so he was drafted. He was drafted in the Vietnam War, but her dad wanted his business. He used to want his own business. However, because he had too many children, mama said, mm -mm, baby, you keeping it nine to five because you're going to feed these children. So he didn't get to have his own business. It kind of reminds me of David and Solomon and how David wanted to build God a house. But the Lord told him no, you know, because he had blood on his hands because he um, killed Uri. Um, for all of you who don't read your Bible, you might want to look at that story. It's a good story. Um, and so he told, but he told him, he said, because you desire, you know, to do something good for me. He said, I'll cause your seed to do it. I'll cause your, your seed to build me a house. And so Solomon, David's son, was able to fulfill a dream that um his dad could not feel and that what that's what this makes me think about when i think about her business and how um her it was her dad who really wanted the business but you know being that you know it's it was a different time then and you know having all them cheering running around it wasn't as easy so she picked up the desire that her dad wanted and i think that is such a a great story and how um even the name came about and all his friends called him sarge and so she named her pickles everything she pickles she named the business after her dad such a beautiful story beautiful people listen the link for these pickles is in my description i promise y'all if y'all don't like sweet pickles or if you think the sweet pickles are too sweet i promise you hit her up you will not be disappointed and speaking of pickles, this is what I did. And as you see, I have jars of them. Um, I actually took about a half of jar of these pickles and I cut them up because I actually like to taste like chunks of pickle in my tuna fish. Oh, and I did put, um, I actually put most of that jar in there. I know y'all probably thinking that's just way too much. I promise you it's not. But this is my kitchen. Remember, I do what I want. So don't come for me. All right. And so next, we want to add a little spice. Because like I told you before, I love texture and contrast. And so I want to add about two tablespoons of the spicy brown mustard in the tuna fish. Um, just to give it another depth of flavor. And then we're going to add our Miracle Whip. And I have to open a new one just in case this one is not enough. So I'm going to add this. And as far as how much I'm adding, guys, it all depends on how you like the texture of your tuna fish. If you like it really, really creamy, you add a lot of mayo or Miracle Whip, whichever one you like. If you don't like it all that creamy and you like it um, more thick looking, you know, you don't add as much. But it's all about what you like. Me, I actually 
kind of like it in between. I know that's not going to be enough, so I'm going to add more. All right, we're going to mix this up. And I know y'all looking like, man, that's some chunky tuna fish. Ain't no other way to eat it. I'm telling you, you got to taste what's in your food, honey. Y'all, I'm about to taste this. Yes, I am, honey. Oh, my God. Mm. My God. My God. My God. Listen, y'all. These pickles with a hint of spice with this right here. You talking about another level tuna fish. Honey. Y'all, and guess what? The video is done. That was it. This right here can feed your kids with some chips. I'm telling you. You ain't got to be in no kitchen this summer slaving. Baby, get them cans of tuna fish. Boy, you some eggs. Get you some Sarge pickles, honey. Don't get any pickles. Don't get any relish. Honey, get... Listen, and it ain't no sense of me playing with this relish while I'm playing. Listen, all that right there. I done put a whole can. But it's a lot of tuna, though. So it's like, it's uh, eight cans of tuna. So, honey, we good. Baby, that right there. Listen. Look at this. Y'all, if y'all can smell it. Whew. Yes. And that's it, y'all. This, look at this. This is your tuna fish. Honey, put it in the refrigerator, let it get cold. Eat it with crackers, eat it with bread, eat it with a croissant. It, eat it plain, it don't matter. But baby, you have got to try Sarge famous pickles and before we leave out we just want to take the time to tell um sylvester sylvester balson that we appreciate you thank you for your service thank you for putting your life on the line for us um i don't know being able to that that's just for me something that it's so close to what Jesus did when we have our servicemen to go out there on the battlefield to fight a fight that's not even there. So we just want to tell you, thank you so much. We appreciate you for your service. Thank you um, even for being the vision behind this. I know Sarita um, is very proud to have a father like you. So you guys even go and support um, this veteran, his daughter, the business that they're trying to create, because I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I promise guys, I did not like sweet pickles until I ran into Sarge famous pickles. So do we just want to tell you all once again, thank you so much. Thank you for your service you put in. And for my YouTube viewers, hit the link in the description, go to her page, call the number, Order these pickles and this relish. She has other things besides pickles and relish. She has pickled strawberries, pickled pineapples, pickled um, uh, broccoli. Um, I think she has even pickled um, squash. Um, so just hit her up and find out what she has. Try her things. Let her know how um, you like it. Um, and thank you all for supporting us. And if there's anybody out there who has something that they feel like that I can put on this channel and use, honey, send it to me. Let me know, honey. We will try it in something. But thank you all once again. And remember, only what you do for Christ will last. Love you guys.